Hello, buddies. Let me introduce uh, this generator set. The end is from the uh, British uh, Ricardo series. It has been used in China for many years, and its uh, technology is perfect. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the name plates. Uh, this is the uh, 50, 56 kilowatts, 1,500 uh, rows per, min uh, per minute, and uh, the model of the engine is 4105 with the uh, turbo charges. And take a look at the motor. Yeah, the rated power of the motor is 50 kilowatts and the rated frequency is 50 hertz. And let's take a look at the diesel engine assembly. First of all, this is the water tank assembly. Uh, this is the water tank field port. In summer, we can add uh, the tap water or the period filled water. If the, if the conditions permit, is rec uh, recommended to add the purea filled water because there are fewer impurities. In winter, you must add anti freezing Of course, you don't need to uh, add anti freezing when you use it when you use it in Africa. Uh, there is a drain switch under the water tank. When the engine is working, the belt runs at a high speed. Yes. So when the engine is working, the belt run at a high speed. You must stay away from this position and the turbo charge. Because the turbo charging is processing and compressing the air intake, the temperature is very high when the air is released. So you must stay away from this path. Uh, you must stay away from the turbo charge to afford the boss this uh, filter. There's the filter. This is the filter. Uh, the so-called uh, three filters are the air filter, the diesel filter, and the oil filter. And before starting the engine, you must add enough water and, and anti-freezing. And check the oil filter port. Here is the engine oil, engine oil filling entrance. How do you see how much the oil there is? Normally we use, normally we use the dipstick to uh, identify. Uh, normally we use the deep stick to uh, identify the gear should be between the highest point and the lowest point. After working, check, uh, check whether there's a lack of the engine oil. First, check the oil pressure. And secondly, pull out uh, the deep stick 10 minutes after stopping the engine to see whether the oil level is in the middle. If this low, you need to add the engine oil. After the preparations are ready, this place is connected to the oil pipe. A diesel tank can be placed next to it. Remember to pump the oil manually for the first time. That is, press this place, yeah. Just like this. Press down this place 30 or 50 times to make sure there's no air in the pump and uh, no air in the oil pipe. This can ensure the normal start of a diesel engine. Let's check around the indication of the generator. This is the overall, overall output indication of the generator. The current, the voltage. Our generators uh, unit is switched between 220 volted and 380 volted. For example, some South America countries use 220 volted. Our engine should be equipped with 1,000, yeah, 1,800 rows per minute as standard, and the motor needs to be equipped with 60 hertz as standard. Let's check back. 
yeah, this is the the digital output indication. The back is the wiring. The back is the wiring switch of the generator units. Here is the switch. Yep. So you must find a professional electrician to connect the wires here. The engine is running normally, the motor is running normally, and after the wiring are connected, close the switch. Like this. Yep. So that's all what I want to show you. How to, you know, the, the, the guide, the guide menu of how to prepare, how to prepare before you start use this uh, digital generator. So this video is, uh, is very helpful for, for the diesel engine user, users to prepare because preparation is very, very important before you start to use the generator. So, but yes, if you have any question, please just feel free to leave your comments on my video. Thank you. Yeah, like a whole month or so.